BTEC Applied Science Unit 5 uh, for Diploma Students and this is C1 which is the first part of the physics, uh, thermal physics it is and this video is about properties of gases. Uh, what properties do we need to know about gases and uh, a bit tricky what units do we need to use? Properties of gases. So pressure. Now pressure, uh, we're going to measure pressure in Pascal or, or Newtons per meter squared and a Pascal is a Newton per meter squared. They are the same thing. It's the SI unit of pressure, the Pascal. Uh, some examples now, atmospheric pressure, the pressure of the air in the room that you're in at the moment is about 100 kilopascal or 100,000 pascal. Uh, the pressure in a car tire is about 400 kilopascal. It's about four atmospheres uh, or about 300 kilopascal above atmospheric pressure. Uh, the oxygen in the cylinders um, is about 14,000 kilopascal, about 14 mega pascal, 14 million pascal. So pressure is measured in Pascal, at least in all of the sums that we are going to use, it has to be measured in Pascal. Volume uh, is measured in meters cubed, cubic meters, meters cubed. Here are some examples uh, inside this fridge. It's about 0.6 meters cubed. Uh, this caravan, has a volume of about 15 meters cubed. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky. This this bottle of Coke is two liters. So that is two times 10 to the minus three meters cubed because there are a thousand liters in a meter cubed. So uh, two liters is two times 10 to the minus three meters cubed. Uh, even trickier if you're given the volume in centimeters cubed. For example, 300 centimeters cubed, well, that's 0.3 liters because there's a thousand centimeters cubed in a liter. So 0.3 liters is 0.3 times 10 to the minus three meters cubed. So if you're given a question and the volume that you're given is 300 centimeters cubed, then in the equation, and we'll see these equations in a bit, it's going to be 0.3 times 10 to the minus 3 meters cubed. Bit tricky volume. Temperature. Now temperature, degree centigrade, but in science we use Kelvin. And in all of the equations that we're going to use uh, in this unit, we're going to use Kelvin. So what on earth's Kelvin? Well, um, 100 degrees centigrade, this water is boiling at 100 degrees centigrade. It's boiling at 373 Kelvin. This ice is melting at zero degrees centigrade. That is 273 Kelvin. Can you see how you get to Kelvin? Basically, you just add 273 to get to Kelvin. This liquid nitrogen is minus 196 degrees centigrade. That's 77. Kelvin uh, and this Bunsen flame is 1500 degrees centigrade and that's 1227 Kelvin. Okay, Kel Kelvin it's called the absolute temperature because zero Kelvin is absolute zero. You can't get colder. Okay, so uh, as I've said um, most of the time we'll be using Kelvin. You might be giving, given the temperature in degree centigrade and to get to Kelvin, you just add 273. So in the equations for gases that we're going to use, there's Lord Kelvin. Uh, the temperature has to be in Kelvin. The pressure has to be in Pascal. The volume has to be in meters cubed. Now, what equations are you on about? Well, here's an equation you need to know, and it's called the ideal gas equation. PV equals NKT. You'll be given it in the exam. You get a sheet with all the, the formulas on. PV equals NKT. P is the pressure 
of the gas. V is the volume of the gas. Uh, N, big N, is the number of particles. Uh, little k is a constant. It's called Boltzmann's constant. Uh, I won't confuse you with the units, but it's a, a very small number, 1.4 times 10 to the minus 23. It's Boltzmann's constant, which you will be given. And uh, T is the temperature in Kelvin. So this equation actually tells us the relationship between pressure, volume and temperature for what we call an ideal gas. PV equals NKT. Uh, you might have to work out any of the quantities. You might have to work out P or N or T. Uh, and to do that, you should really be able to rearrange this equation. Here are some examples. Um, this cylinder contains 15 litres of oxygen at 20 degrees centigrade and a pressure of 8,000 kilopascal. Uh, assuming it hasn't liquefied, assuming it's still a gas at very high pressure, uh, how many oxygen molecules, how many particles does it contain? So uh, the first thing I've done is uh, written down the data that I'm going to put substitute in the equation. So the pressure, 8,000 kilopascal. So that's 8 million pascal or 8 times 10 to the 6 pascal or 8,000 times 10 to the 3 whatever, it's all the same. I've written here 8 million Pascal. I would probably use 8 times 10 to the 6. The volume, well, 15 litres, so 15 times 10 to the minus 3 metres cubed. Uh, the temperature is 293 Kelvin. We've added 273, so 293 Kelvin. Boltzmann's constant you'll be given. Uh, some of you might struggle here, PV equals NKT. So N, we've been asked to work out how many molecules. So N is PV over KT. Now I've put in the numbers as I've written them above and the answer that I get is 2.9 times 10 to the 25. We'll look at another couple of examples. Here's one if you want to maybe pause the video and have a go at it. And here's my answer, three, two, one, there you go. So uh, the pressure, 400 kilopascal, so 400,000 pascal. Uh, the volume is 10 liters, so 10 times 10 to the minus three meters cubed. The number of particles were given, 9.6 times 10 to the, uh, that should say 23. That should say 23, shouldn't it? Silly boy. Uh, there you go. 23. Doesn't matter because in the equation I've said 23. Uh, K, Boltzmann's constant. Uh, so PV equals NKT. So T is PV over NK. So I put in the data and I, I have changed it to 23 there. Uh, and you get 298 Kelvin. Now, the question asked for degrees centigrade, so if we take away 273, you get 25 degrees centigrade. Here's one more, again, have a go at this yourself. Uh, my answer, three, two, one is, there you go. So, uh, what does it say? Calculate the volume of the balloon. So the first thing I've done is written the data down that I'm going to put in my equation. The pressure is 100,000 Pascal. Uh, the temperature in Kelvin is 291 Kelvin. Uh, I've worked out the number of particles. OK, uh, I worked out the number of moles, which is 0 0.7 divided by 4, and then I multiplied it by this big number. It's called Avogadro's constant. If you do chemistry, you know that. If you do physics, you know that actually 6.02 times 10 to the 23. And that tells me the number of particles. Uh, Boltzmann's constant is what it is. So PV equals NKT. So V is NKT over P. Substitute the numbers in there and we get 4.5 times 10 to the minus 3 meters cubed or 4.5 liters.